Hi everyone. I hope everyone is doing okay in today's uh, crazy world. So this is going to be a short video. I'm on 15 minute time limits until I get this renewal done for my um, screen recorder. So to increase your service to others and be more loving to yourself and everyone in order to raise your vibrational consciousness level forgive yourself and thus releasing karma this will change the vibration of the planet and shared consciousness of humanity and change humankind one person at a time treat your body as a temple and change over to a higher vibrational diet made the process Ra. so this is what i shared the other day as a, as a uh, like a tab on a video um, and it's about the great solar flash that's basically coming some have been saying it's coming for a while so it, it just goes on to show you everything that has been controlling the earth for a long time your artificial intelligence originally at one with the creator one infinite creator so it's um, escapes her SMA and or to all suffering, escape rebirth, night's density, mystery of universal creation, return to source, uh, empty awareness, and to suffering, the one, the higher realms, the Badara. Um So these all go different to down to different things, your rainbow body, um, you become omni science, omnipotent and omnipresent, universal knowledge, goes down to your sacred geometry, flower of life. So you have all of these in between, like your ability to fly, telekinesis, manifest objects, telepathy, levitation, service to others, forgiveness, um, compassion, humanity, um, Plasovian mushrooms. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen latest Star Trek Discovery. They go through a um, network, network of Pasobia mushroom network where they jump through different realms. Let me think of that. But the war on drugs is a war on your consciousness, which um, taints your body. Um, so time wave zero, your singularity. Um, it used to be called Mandela Effect. This is what Mandela Effect used to be called in the 80s, Time Wave Zero. So you got the ancient builder race, your blue avians, Rautia, Ur, uh, multi-dimensional hieroglyphic writings, two billion years old, the ancient builder race, light beings, technically and superiorly, uh, spiritually superior, um, the outer energetic barrier, 52 local star clusters, predictive barrier, grid erected 500,000 years ago, prevents unwanted ET races from leaving, entering the solar system located or past the Oort cloud. Um, so we've got Sirs, the Dark Underground Fleet, Saturn, well we know what Saturn does. Saturn is pretty much controlling what happens on Earth with the um, Dark Alliance, which are most of these, the real and the reptiles. Um, the secret uh, space service, soul, the sun. The sun isn't what you think it is. The sun draws its energy from elsewhere and is not orange, white, red, whatever, yellow, whatever color you think it was. It was yellow when I was growing up, but it is not that color. It is actually black. It is a black hole. It, it draws its energy from elsewhere. So the sun is connected to every other star by fil filaments in the cosmic web, web portal. It's where it draws its energy from the ether. AI prophet species will be eliminated during the great solar flash for a thousand years. Those who worship technology, um, the sun produces bacteria and injects into space. The vacuum of space is filled with bacteria and DNA, the seeds of life. Um, so an energy that's throughout the universe, a portion of the creator believes itself to be separate from the creator, thinks it can overtake the universe. Now this Omanara was a, they thought it was an asteroid, but they actually found it to be some sort of ship. They still claim it to be an asteroid, but if you Google this name, you'll find it. It's like a cigar-shaped um, ship, and it, it, it's like a probe. It came in, and then it went out again. They thought it was going to hit her, Earth, but it came in and went out again. So we got the... Um, Palladians, we've got Cosmic Dis Disclosure, we've got the MJ Majestic MJ-12, we've got um, all of these ones going on, 
hyperdimensional physics, we've got the great awakening, everything is illusional. We're using our collective consciousness to manifest optimal timeline reality on Earth. Um, free energy will allow humans to clean and free the Earth and become a multi-dimensional um, civilization. Survivors from Mars catastrophe escaped to Earth and built Atlantis and pyramids. They had to build the pyramids because when they brought the moon in, which was never here, it was never here before the flood, when they brought the moon in and landed in Africa, where some people say is Atlantis. No, it's not Atlantis. That's, that's where they landed the moon. And then the moon is what hacked the system and it is, is basically what is controlling the reincarnation of matrix cycle um, so that was 500,000 years ago there was a planet between Mars and Earth um, Saturn that was blown up so the grand experiment was genetic manipulation of humans on Earth by extraterrestrial groups um, stewards of Earth spiritual development so they teleport phase in and out blue avians golden triangle head beans blue wolves blue spears um, with the portal system, the blue avians, so we got all of these, um, age of Aquarius, so, yeah, I'm just going to make this a short one, um, I did have this in the other day on the thing, now, what this one here with the bell technology, if you look into the Vaders, the Vaders text has all of those flying machines way back then, way back then <clears throat> so you got your rainbow children the indigo children all of those children you got your astro travelers your lucid dreams um, your law of karma and they tell us they tell us what they're going to do through all of the law of karma it's all done everything's done through they tell us um, most of <laughs> look here see and also our family, like we've done our family tree and it only goes back to about the 1120s and we cannot go back any further than the 1120s. So I'm still trying to work out the dates. Um, now, these three, Washington DC, the city of London and the Vatican City is what controls basically the whole of Earth. And then the Vatican is the one that controls uh, London and Washington. And then they um, basically you know they have to answer to the ones you know the upper echelons above them that are on Saturn um, the Jesuits you know so they take an oath you know say one thing to your face but they'll do something totally opposite so the Lucifer, Lucifer telescope is looking for other ships um, the crypto currency um, like I said about um, all of these mark of the beast the mark of the beast is here the new world order is here it's already here it's been here since the 1500s it's if you can't see that it's been here since the 1500s since they went to find the new world then you need to go back and have a look at history so these ones here you know so like white hats I'm not even going to mention this they're trying to bring all of this free energy, the Earth Alliance, all that wireless energy up so no one lives in poverty anymore so that we can help each other out and, and stop all of this drug trafficking and weaponized food and all that kind of stuff, you know, fake news, false flags, all of the stuff that, that's going on. Humans don't want to realistically fight and harm another human they, they don't so I'll leave the links in the, the descriptions now if you're a light worker star seed or a wanderer indigo one of the awakened ones and you're helping raise the earth's vibration I really bow down to you and thank you you know I'm part of that and I'm really grateful for what you're doing to help the others become more aware of their surroundings to think outside the box to break their programming it's not that hard it's just the, the cognitive dissonance that hits them 
is it's the hardest is the cognitive dissonance they just don't want to accept that that could happen to them you know I don't know if anyone can see there's a fish there I'll do this in the next video but there's a dragon up the top here I'll make that in the next video but down here zoom in this is where it landed and this is why they had to build the pyramids because what happened was is it tilted the earth by about 15 degrees so and they didn't just build the pyramids in Egypt they they built them so the pyramids over here it landed here um, they didn't just build them in Egypt they built them all over the world and the pyramids are layered out like today's computer chips if you have a look at the way they lay it out so that the, that's why the pyramids were built. They worked for about 15, 20,000 years and then they stopped working and that's when they abandoned the earth again. But this is where it did land. Right there. So if you're still with me, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good evening, good afternoon.